Hey y'all, I'm back. So I'm gonna wait for a few more people to arrive, but I wanted to talk about how Pignesha and Bob and them are not goals. Okay, um, a lot of people are, you know, starting to catch on. A lot of people are starting to voice their opinion without feeling ashamed, which is good. I'm glad. It's about time. And I don't, I never really felt the shame because it is what it is. We shouldn't be afraid to hurt people's feelings if, the, uh, if they're not doing the right thing. Now, when I'm saying hurting their feelings, I mean um, telling them the truth about the situation. We shouldn't be afraid to do that. Okay. Um, I'm sure y'all have seen that one video with that pick me chick circle and talking about you got to build up a man and Y'all know I probably should have been watching some of my videos and hear me say that, you know, Bob the Builder and pick me chicks and stuff, whatever, whatever. I don't feel like it's a woman's job to build up a man. I mean, if that was our job, we'd have the muscles. OK. We'd have the logical side working stronger. We'd be taller, bigger. And with more muscle mass, if we were supposed to build up anything, okay? If, if we were supposed to build up a man, we would be the man, okay? So if anybody wants to build up a man, go straight ahead. Go ahead and finish raising him. You know, pack his little lunch. Give him his little lunch money or whatever you got to do. You know, give him some good advice, send him out into the world. Make sure he follows all the rules in the house because you know that's your house. Because he ain't leading nothing, right? Um, make sure he stays safe. Make sure his diaper is changed or his pull-up. Make sure you give him an extra one in, the, in his little briefcase backpack. You know, make sure he know what bus to ride. Because you're his, he, you know, you're his mama. And, and the only thing that is keeping him from realizing you're his mom <laughs> is that he hasn't gotten to that level yet to where he wants the type of woman he wants to hold down. Okay. So Bob the Builders, pick me chicks, that is not gold. In fact, that is nightmares to me. I every time and, and, and this is this is sad, but every time I go somewhere and I see um uh, that situation or I see people that are living that lifestyle, I'm like, I would never, you know, and to me, it's basically, it's not right. I see a lot of male comments saying, oh, that lady is right. Y'all need to build each other up. What about teamwork? Okay. Well, let me join the NFL. Let me be on the NFL team so we can win. You want me up on the, the Dallas Cowboys? You want me on y'all? You want me on that team too? You want me on uh, playing next to LeBron James? I might miss the goal, baby. But we we a team. You gonna blame you gonna blame me losing the championship on uh being a woman? Cause last time I checked, when you have a team, it's mostly men or mostly women. We don't we don't play in the same teams in the NFL or the NBA. I'm not playing on the same team in real life. OK, I got my thing. You got your thing. I'm not getting ready to get on the court with you and you six feet tall, six foot three. And I'm shorter than that. I can't compete with you. But you asking me for help. I don't think so. OK, you go out and do all of that, get you a teammate, go get you a business partner to build you up like most men do. OK, then you come find a wife. If you can't get yourself together, why would we want you? OK, I don't know anybody who wants that. <laughs> so, yes, please don't ask us to be no teammate. I'm, I want to be a wife. I want to be a woman. I want to be on the sideline cheering for you with your teammates and your partners. Oh, okay. looking cute. I want to be the wife in the stand. I don't want to be on the field. I want to be on the court. Okay. 
I'm going to be sitting in the stand with the kids or in the box seats because y'all know I'm bougie. I'm going to be in the box. I'm going to be on the field with you sweating and getting musty. Okay? It's not going to happen. And if you want it to happen, then I'm going to need that trophy and the MVP spot. I'm going to need the trophy as well as the MVP. Okay? Because if I can do it as a woman on a team of big old masculine men, I should win. I should be praised. I should be on every cereal box. I should be everywhere. I, my, my face should be on the flag. Because if I can do that, what do we need you for? What do I need you for if I can do all of that? If I could play in the NFL and the NBA and get the MVP spot and get paid, what, what you doing? You need to go sit on the sideline with the cheerleaders. Right? Kitty. You need to be babysitting up there. Okay? Because I got this. If you if you need me this bad and I can come and compete with grown men, you don't, you go sit in the you go sit in the sideline. Because I'm taking over, basically. Thank you for sharing. It is helpful, realistic, and you give good examples. Some have worked for me. Yes. Thank you for the donation. Karina Sanchez, girl, thank you. 11, that's, girl, thank you. $11, I appreciate it, girl. I'm going to put a little heart emoji on. So I, I just watched um, two videos that were reacting to, you know, pick Misha that's uh, sitting in the car on her way to work to pay half the bills. And um, one was what Derek Jackson and the other one was uh, Tanya TKO. And both of those YouTubers basically disagreed with her. Okay. And I like Tanya TKO, her video on her really broke it down to, um, you know, basic levels as well. So my thing is I can't, I won't, I'll be, I'll be handicapping. I'll be making that person handicapped. You know, um, I don't want to do a man's job. I don't think I should either. You know, there are certain jobs that if I went to apply to, they wouldn't hire me because I'm a woman and it's not discrimination. It's, oh, because you got to lift 60 pounds, um, back to back every day, or you got to lift a hundred pounds or you got to be in these conditions. And so you can't work here because you don't have the physical strength to even do the dang job. So if we were supposed to be on the same team, we should be able to get the same type of job. I'm not on your team. Okay. So <laughs> never, Ever, ever ask a woman to be your teammate. The only teammate I'm going to, the only part of the team that I'm going to be is the mascot turning flips over there and cheer for you. Because I'm not going to be on the field. Okay. Shira, glad you, I'm lying. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, if the next time I see a guy in the comments talking about the economy, da, 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, I need a teammate. I need somebody to be with me and, t and help me build up. And da, 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 da. We're talking about Bob the Builder and Pick Misha are not goals. Okay. If I see that, that's pathetic to me. I can't even, that won't even turn me on. You Next. You know, if I need that, I'll just go become a lesbian. Okay. Don't need you. Don't want you. Can't do what I need you to do. You a waste of a man. Bye. Not a team player. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to be on a team. I'm solo. I'll be solo. I want to shine by myself. If I got to be on a team and, and contribute half, I want all the credit. Okay. I, I'm, I, oh, thank you, miss. She gave me $14.99. Oh, that's so sweet. My life has only improved by sticking up and setting higher standards and learning this game. You are a smart woman. Thank you, girl. I appreciate the of the donation, like truly. So I want to shine by myself. I don't need to be on no team, baby. I am the team. I don't need you. 
If you can't bring me what I need, I don't want to be on a team. I'm just going to be so low and I'm going to shine. I'm going to be. Okay. That's me. <sighs> so um, let's get back to this pick me shit. Okay, so let's talk about pick me chicks. A lot of you guys don't know what a pick me chick is. It's a woman that says what men are always saying and agreeing to, hoping that she will get some type of recognition, some type of praise from these broke men. Because she ain't even aiming high. She's not even aiming high. She's aiming for pick for broke men. You know, if you're gonna be a pick me, be a pick me for a rich man. You know, come on there and say, oh, you know, uh, I think wealthy men are so fabulous. They're just so uh, strong and smart. And, you know, they really know how to treat women. They're romantic. They're more creative because they have more freedom and time to think. There's, you know, I love a wealthy man. A wealthy man is just the epitome of masculinity. You know, if you're going to be a pick me, be a pick me for a man with something in his pocket. Not for brokeity broke. You know. Don't be a pick me for somebody that needs you to survive. <laughs> Armorosa knows the game. Exactly. So um, if I'm going to be a pick me, I'm going to be the pick me, but I'm going to leave with some, some, you know, some benefits. Okay. I'm not leaving empty handed. I'm not going to be on my way to work. I'm going to be on my way to the mall. Okay. I ain't going to be sitting in the car with my work clothes on, trying to hurry up and get a video in, talking about uh, help help this man Bill while he in the braid chair getting his uh, hair braided for 18 hours. I'm not going to do all of that. Okay. I'm not going to work while you sit in the braid chair. That's supposed, we supposed to be reversed. I'm supposed to be at the salon. You supposed to be at the job. <laughs> okay. So I'm not. I can't. And you know, whoever taught you that, you need to you need to uh you need to go call them on the phone and you need to be upset with them. You need to ask them, why would you do this to me? Why would you teach me this value? You know, you got me out here looking crazy. Okay? So whoever taught you that was was wrong. Very wrong. Very, very wrong. And don't be, don't, look, I almost, almost got, uh, almost got into the improper speech there. Please don't teach other ladies this. This is not the correct way, people. It is not the correct way. How to, do I introduce my family to older men knowing damn well they will not accept? Don't introduce them. Uh -huh. Not yet until he, you know. Until he starts buying you stuff that they're, oh my gosh, that's so nice. <laughs> Damn, they have to love him. Have him send him some, send them some gifts. Don't tell him how old he is. Let him accept all the nice gifts and flowers and stuff. Then bring them. <gasps> they can't say nothing and they don't accept it as gifts. <laughs> um, how do you know? when you're getting too thick. I want to look good. Most races of men and other men don't like fat women. If you breathing hard, if your BMI is over what it's supposed to be, if you are in the category of overweight or obese, then you're too big. If you got about 10 extra pounds, you good because that can that can fluctuate. But if you're considered obese, it's time to make that change. <gasps> Thank you, SC. Ooh, 900 something. I don't know. It's, it looked like a little tornado. I'm trying to level up. My mom keeps saying that you can't get a man richer than your own father. I, you know, be real. Uh, but your video helps me ignoring her level up and manifesting what I want. You can get a man richer than your father. That's easy. Um, mm -hmm. So we're not going to... Um, we're not going to focus on pick Misha and Bob. We're going to focus on our standards and what we want. Who cares what they want? All, they're miserable, so they want you to be miserable with them, okay? Because as soon as pick Misha sees you, you know, at the day spa while she's on her way to work, as soon as pick Misha sees you, you know, at the salon while she's on her lunch break trying to roll through the Taco Bell uh, drive-through real quick on her 30 minutes, when she sees you, you know, 
um, getting seated at a restaurant for lunch. She's going to be mad. But she got to take herself back to work because she settled to, to build a man. Okay. And you did. And there's nothing wrong with what you did. But she want to act like it's wrong because she got to take herself back to work. It's our free will to do whatever we want to do. <laughs> um, I was curious. Mickey says there's no thick. It's either you're skinny or you fat. <laughs> you did, girl. <laughs> Are you you losing weight or you gaining weight? <laughs> you gain. Uh, do you think it's possible to find a rich man who won't cheat? As long as he is in a wheelchair and he's quadriplegic, but still, I wouldn't put it past him because even Stephen Hawking was cheating with his nerves. Uh huh. I guess <laughs> you're absolutely correct. There is nothing wrong with wanting to be well taken care of. Yeah. There isn't not a wealthy circle. Huh? No. She's saying in a wealthy circle, you're either fat or skinny. They're not, if they're wealthy, you gotta be, you gotta be on point. Or you gotta at least be on point enough for a girdle to suck it in. <laughs> um straighten. You no, know, Steven cheated and couldn't even do <laughs> you see. Don't put nothing past them. You can, you can have a man in a wheelchair. He's going to be online while you at work. <laughs> okay. So make sure you're with him for the correct reason, not for being faithful. <clears throat> now, I know some people argue, oh, a man can be faithful. Yeah, he can. But will, will he? That's the question. And women shouldn't really, you know, really stress about something that they can't change. A man's going to do what he's going to do. You can't stop him. Unless you stay at home all day and stay in guard and spy on him, you know, get his password and all that. But then that's work. That's extra work. If he's going to cheat, he's going to cheat. If he's not, he's not. You know, I don't think that it's a good characteristic, but just like he can't stop you, you can't stop him. It's just that's his choice. If he if he's going to cheat, he's going to cheat anyway. If he doesn't cheat, then he wasn't going to cheat. <laughs> so, and the sad thing about these Pikmishas and Bob the Builders is they get cheated on the most. Okay? That's why they're so heartbroken. And when they have breakups, these breakups are horrible. Because they gave more than they received. Especially the woman. The woman just... They can't even, they don't even mentally sound afterward because they gave too much. They gave their entire 20s or some of their 30s probably um, to some dude and then got nothing in return, but abandoned and left behind. So if you're building up a man, make sure. You know, you're getting something out of it at least. If you're not getting anything out of it, but have your bills paid, that's not that's that's not enough. Um, my girlfriend has kids with a man in a wheelchair, and he gets caught cheating every other week. See, I told you, girl, don't trust no man. That's not why you should be with the man. Like, I'm serious. Like, here's my thing: if a man cheats. If a woman cheats, they cheated, point blank. Do you have to stay? It's up to you. Are you going to benefit or are you going to lose? Which one is more important? That's your decision to either stay or go. But know that there is no such thing as someone that is 100% guaranteed not to cheat because they can change their mind at any moment. So don't base any type of relationship on somebody being 100% faithful because that is not ever going to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two of my pick me girlfriends are now jealous that my man got us tickets to Cancun. I feel like I'm losing friends more and more. Good. 
They're supposed to fall away. You know, they're supposed to fall away. You can't stay with the same people and rise if they're not rising. They, if they're not rising with you, they're going to fall away. So I went, you want to visit a friend in a nursing home and best believe wheelchair dude where the baseball hat was trying to hit on me. <laughs> Girl, the wheelchair may be after you, they be rolling. Okay. So those friends aren't paying the bills. Exactly. So, and then they want to make their relationship seem so authentic and real. And we hold each other down. We're, you know, we love each other. You know, I'll, I'll have his back. He'll have mine, but it's not him that's saying that it's her. Okay. The man rarely says, oh, uh, you know, I have her back. I'm going to hold her down no matter what. I'm in this for the long haul. The man don't ever say that. The woman is always the one talking that mess. See, the man just sitting back like, that's what you think. Okay. So, no. Definitely not worth building up a man. If he doesn't come already built, send it back to the manufacturer. Tell him you don't put stuff together. I hire some people to come and put this stuff together because I don't. I, I'm not ordering from IKEA. I'm ordering from the furniture store and stuff already put together because I can't. I don't have time to sit there and put that IKEA furniture together. You better come already assembled. Okay. Um. I want to. I want to sit down tonight, not tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I don't even know what half the tools. This uh, table and chair and stuff calls for. I don't know how to put this stuff together. I'm not a man. Okay. I got to go. I got to go hire a man. Get. It, I got to go get another man to, to be, even be able to build this man up. So then you get mad when your woman is cheating, but she only cheating because she want her hair and nails done and able to go to the spa and buy nice clothes because you can't afford it. Okay. She cheating with somebody older who got some little change. And, you know, because you can't afford it and she don't want to burden you because it's how bad he calling me. You know what I'm saying? So it's a two income family. You know, I'm oppressed. She don't want to hear all of that. She just want what she want. OK, so she goes and finds somebody who doesn't think like you, who can actually build himself up and allow her to feel feminine like a woman. And allow her to have the, some of the nice things that she desires that she cannot get from her man. Okay. Can, can a bond. So y'all, there's like some videos going around where men are catching their women at lunch with these sugar daddies. And that's a wake up call. You know, that should be a wake up call. You can't afford this. And this is not even a nice place. And you can't even take me here. So wake up, you know, if you if you are a Bob the Builder man wanting somebody to be your teammate, well, you know, teammates, it don't matter who they go out with because they're they're just a teammate. Roommate, teammate, they can date. OK, if I'm somebody's roommate, you better not tell me who I can go to lunch with. If I'm paying half the bills in this house, you better not tell me nothing. You don't run anything. Nothing at all. OK, so don't even fix your mouth. You're not paying every bill. If you're not, you know, uh, being the man you're supposed to be, don't talk to me. I'm going to go find either a replacement or compensation for what you're lacking. That's just straight up. And I can't I can't help it because I'm a woman and that's what I want. That's what I crave. That's that's my nature. I need what I need. So. <laughs> Oops, I guess I chose the wrong type of man. I guess I was brainwashed into Bob the building and now I regret it. That's that's what a lot of people are saying. And then, you know, a lot of people are in these relationships right now and now they feel dumb and now they want to switch it up right in the middle. But the truth is that man probably wouldn't have chosen you if he knew that you weren't going to build him. That's the sad part that a lot of ladies are getting ready to find out. So when you get ready to switch up 
the dynamic of your bob the building relationship because a lot of ladies they're they're calling me for consultations because they're in these type of relationships and i'm like you can't switch it up right in the middle i mean you got to slowly adjust out of it you got to slowly adjust you know like i said you're 50 50 now next, next month be 60 60 40 then 70 30 until you're no longer doing that you know, adjust, give him time to save, give him time to find a second job or a better job or to cut some expenses, you know, so that you don't have to. Some just don't know I have men of means chasing me. Yup. What if he took care of all the bills, but now he can't because he's working, his working authorization expired. Sound like a personal problem to me. Okay, it shouldn't have expired. Why is it expired? Why didn't he renew it? How, you know, when? So, yeah, you can't. You should have seen that in the beginning. That it was going to expire. So, yeah, we're not going to do Bob the Builder. We're not going to be pick Misha's. We're going to strive and have higher standards for ourselves because we love ourselves, okay? We don't care about what a man thinks is right because he will have you out on the football team, okay? He will have you out on a construction site, okay? He will have you out washing cars, in the heat, sweating, right alongside with him. Why? Because you're his teammate. You're not his wife. You're not his woman. You're not his gift. You're not his precious. You're not his precious. You know, he, you're, he's not going to tell you, no, baby, go sit down. Go get an air conditioner. I'll take care of this. You just go sit there and, you know, uh, be pretty or take care of the kids or, you know, uh, whatever you want to do is your life. He's not going to do that. He's going, girl, you better come out here and help me. You see all this stuff I need help with. You need to come help me. You need to help me. I need help, 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 help. You know what? I'm just going to call 911. I'm just going to dial. I'm like, hold on. I'll get you some help. Because you sound like this emergency situation. 911. Make sure Siri wouldn't dial it. Hello. Yes. Um, I have a man here and he's screaming for help. <laughs> well, he's asking me for help and what's wrong with him? I, I don't know. Sir, what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, he said it's a bad economy and he's being oppressed. Uh-huh. She's asking me, are you seeing, do you see, um, Do you hear voices? She's asking. Well, he's a little bit paranoid sometimes, but I don't know. Um, do you hear voices? No, he didn't hear any voices. Um, what's he doing right now? He's screaming that he needs help. Who is he screaming to? Me. And I don't know how to help him, you know? So I don't know. I mean, okay, well, I, can I call back if, okay, I'll call back if it gets any worse. Thanks. Sorry to waste your time. Bye. Um, I called for help. They say you don't need no help. Okay. They said there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> So, you know, we can make an appointment to the doctor to see why you are not able to, you know, do what you need to do as a grown man. Maybe do we need to schedule some psych, you know, some psychiatric help? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I'm going to tell you the real reason they tell you they need help. Because they don't want you to have a free ride. You are not good enough to have a free ride. You are not good enough to be taken care of. You are not beautiful enough. 
spectacular enough. You are not the woman of their dreams. So you got to get in there and, and, and put in work. Okay? That's why. Mm. So the next time a man asks you for help, that's what he's telling you. You are not good enough to be my precious. You are not good enough to be my woman or my wife. You are only my helper. Only my help. That's all I need you for. If you didn't help me, I wouldn't be with you. That's all he's telling you. If you couldn't help me as a grown man, I would not be with you. That means when he no longer needs help, he won't be with you. Okay. Someone said they need help. That is why you have to level up your looks. Exactly. So, does your daughter have to help you? No, she's precious enough. Exactly. Exactly. You want to ask your child to help you? Mm -hmm. So, I already know, I, I already know what a man thinks when he asks anybody what you bring to the table and what you help. What are you going to help me with? And why should I be with you? And what, what do you offer? Um, the last time I checked, you're... You're trying to woo me. I'm not trying to woo you. So I don't offer you nothing. Okay, go find pick Misha because you got the wrong one. <laughs> okay. So, and it's only certain men of a certain age range and a certain generation that say these things. And it's like, really? How many times are you going to hear that over and over? We don't want to help you. You grown. Be a man, okay? Stop asking people for help. Go ask your mama for help. <laughs> okay? Because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to make a, a woman into your mother into your to finish raising you because you couldn't finish uh, doing stuff on your own. And it's not fair, you know? It's not fair to people to come in incomplete especially as a man, you know, you're not even going to be respected. She's so too forward with these men asking for money so quick, doesn't know the game. Okay, well, she'll learn after she strikes out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we need help too. How are we going to get help if we're too busy helping y'all? How you know we don't need help? More help than you can offer, you know? <laughs> yep, I need help too. Stuck in Mars, need girl to... Stuck in Mars, need girl to do sex. No, you need some money. That's what you need. <laughs> you have 50 year old, you met an old man that, that was talking Bob the Builder. Um, and that's, that's messed up when you run into an older man that wants you to bob the bill. You know, you look bad. You run into an old man that's asking you to bob the bill. You better go back to the mirror. <laughs> you better go back somewhere. Cause if an older man is asking you to bob the bill, you mm -mm. go back to the mirror. Get you some wigs, get you some makeup. Get you a girdle, suck it in, you know, get on a diet, paint your nail, do all of that. Because if an old man is asking a younger woman to build, he don't see you as a prize or a young, a, a PYT as Michael Jackson used to call them. A pretty young thing. He sees you as an equal. You might as well be 52. Okay. <laughs> Hi. So immediately drop everything, run, run to your nearest Sephora beauty supply shop. 
and please level up. <laughs> Cause that's what I would do. If I promise you, if, if say you're out, you think you you think you all that. Oh, I, I, some guy comes up to you old, old enough to be your daddy. Then gonna ask you to go 50-50. You know you done messed up. <laughs> okay. Like what? Either that or he's really broke. She or, or that could have just been a broke man. Yeah, that's what I just said. Or either that or he's super broke and he has, you know. So should we tell them that we are the prize and just say no? Of course. You know, don't bob the bill with anybody. You know what? If you bob the bill with anybody, it needs to be your sister, your brother, your mama, your cousin, your family members. Why? Because that's a roommate. That's not no man. Why are you building him? <laughs> Your kids, exactly. Build with people that's that's going to be around forever. Not wishy-washy people that may not be around in two months or three months or next year. <laughs> um, set the tone of the relationship, exactly. When you go into the relationship, it looks so good that they would never ask you to pay a bill. Laugh, you know, it's like, huh? think that they're joking. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> You're silly. You know, don't even, don't even take it seriously because you don't do that. <laughs> that's so funny. You have a great sense of humor. You're... You lucky you got an old simp dude. You got cuz you look like you pushing 50 yourself. Oh my gosh. Here's uh here come Bob and Dusty. Telling women not to build with a man and be equal. You just a glorified hoe. I'd rather be a glorified hoe than a Bob the Builder. Okay? Because the glorified hoe will be at the spa, sitting up here making YouTube videos, telling other women not to build with losers. Who can't even get themselves up off their feet? I sure would. Because you know the difference between you and a hoe? A hoe got money in her pocket and you don't. A hoe don't need anybody to pay half her bills. But you do. Okay? So you just you you're lower. Okay. And if I am pushing 50, I I, I certainly can push 50 because I I'm not out here working still. I'm I've been retired. Okay, you still, you know, you and whoever end up with you, they gonna be y'all gonna be working till y'all die. Straight up, people. Are... <laughs> okay, so whatever. <laughs> okay. She would, that's 50 at home on YouTube. <laughs> she would rather be pushing 50 at home on YouTube. I sure would. Um, Call me what you won't. Just don't call me broke. Exactly. Look, if all the older men that I run into want to spend money are always narcissist and controlling, it's, a, it's annoying. How do I decipher the nice older from the narcissist guy? Um, I told you, you got to become a narcissist. Okay, just act like one too. Um, I received so many compliments since I've been wearing makeup. Now I just need to lose weight. Thank you for the advice. You're the bomb. Thank you, girl. That's good. Um, 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 um why do low level guys think name calling is supposed to impact a woman's priority? I don't know. Like, if I'm a hoe, he can't afford he can't afford this hoe, so it don't even matter. You know, I'm married, but even if I wasn't married, he still couldn't afford this hoe. So it's not really something beneath beneath him because he can't even afford it. 
<laughs> okay. Hi. So. My husband has never asked me to pay a bill or work. He is older and approached me first. I haven't paid a bill or worked in over six years. If a gay male can do it, ladies can too. All right, Jesus Garcia, okay? Jesus is a gay male and he don't pay no bills. Okay, Jesus, tell him. Jesus is in here talking to y'all and y'all can't even hear him. Praise you. Praise Jesus. If Jesus could do it, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? If he can get fully taken care of and you still sitting up here, Bob the building, you doing something wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to get it either way, right? <laughs> Don't listen to those who can't do Exactly. So, sup, Shira? What's good? Uh, these comments are these comments good. They're funny. So, work for yourself. Limit. Why limit yourself? Work for yourself while limit yourself. I do work for myself on YouTube. Okay. And at the same time, I'm helping other women. So having your own stash is very important. Yes. Being a smart lady is very important, but you don't build up a man. Right. So, yeah, we're going to talk about, uh, okay, so I'm going to wrap it up. Okay, Um. so let's talk about why, why are there pick me's? Who, you know, why are there pick me's? Shira is a definition on multiple streams of income. Yep. Y'all know how much money I have. Don't. <laughs> Shira is the. De yep. Still work for a while. If you have, then pay bills. Link the safe stash. Yep. Sometimes you have to play your smartness down. You sure do. You're pregnant. What advice can you give me? If the, if the daddy is broke. I don't know. It's too late, baby. The daddy's broke. I hope you, I don't know. That's your decision. I, I would never get pregnant by a broke man. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't want to bring broke seeds into the world. You was a pick me because your father was a dusty. Okay. Well, we can all change. Okay. Someone says level up once you have the baby. Pick me ladies are in the vulnerable position being com com confused. I don't think they're confused. I think they know what they're doing. You know, I think they value the opinions of men more than they value themselves. I think they value the validation of a dusty man more than they value themselves. I think they value the man wanting to be with them because they will offer them something in exchange besides sex. And I feel like they don't think they, they can get that man without offering anything else besides sex. They are already putting themselves down. They're saying to this man, I know you don't want me unless I give you something in exchange. I know you don't want me unless I can be just like a roommate, but I'm going to give you something extra, a roommate with benefits. I know you don't want me if I can't do any of that. So guess what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell other women to do it. I'm even going to go as far as to make a video on my way to work to pay these bills for you. Why? 
because I know you don't want me on my own. I know that I'm not valuable to you unless I bring home this money. So I'm on my way to work, baby. I know that without this job, I will have no you. That's all they're saying. Or I know that if I don't do extra, go above and beyond, I won't have a man because I'm not valuable. I'm undesirable. I'm too masculine. You know, so no man is going to want me unless I can be a man and help him. Mm -hmm. Unless I can be a teammate because I can't be a woman. Oh, I can't be a feminine lady. Why? Because you won't let me. And you don't want me if I am a feminine woman because you can't afford a feminine woman. You can't afford a, you can't afford me to look pretty and stay home while you go out and get the bread and win the bread for the family. You can't afford that. So I really like you. I want to be with you and I love you more than I love myself. So I will relax my standards so you don't have to try. You can just be okay. You don't even have to push yourself just a little bit. You just keep continuing on your same mediocre path and I will step in and do the work because I love you more than I love myself. Even though I don't have a ring, or even if I have a ring, you know, it's still, it's not the, you know, that's not enough. <laughs> because if I quit my job, then all of a sudden you're going to get an attitude with me. You're going to start treating me a little bit different. I can't sit home and look pretty. I got to get out here and do this work. I got to build up my man. I got to make him strong because his mama didn't finish or his daddy didn't finish raising him. So I, it's my it's my job now to step in and become his stepmama. OK. So. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Help make preachers quoting Bible got us confused. I don't listen to preachers either. OK. The preacher just wants your money and your woman money and your man money. Two monies is more than one money. So, of course, you need a help mate. Okay. More women or girls need to be told these things. Yes, they do. It's about the validation that man give her. Yeah, because her real man don't give her any validation. So she out here trying to get it from every other Dusty. Trying to show him she could get another Dusty if she wanted to. Another Dusty will be in that inbox in two seconds because her Dusty ain't pulling and ain't doing nothing. Okay, I'm going to take my money to some other Dusty. You don't deserve my money. Let me, let me, go, let me go make this video real quick and show you how many men really want me. And how valuable I am as a woman. Let me go make this video because I'm going to show you how many men want me. How many men want a good woman like me? No, how many men want a roommate that's going to give them some and pay half their bills? I, I do. And I'm not even a man. I, hey, you know, I'll take I'll take somebody paying half my bills. Come on in. Come on in. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. How are you? Mm-hmm. Where do you work? Oh, how much money do you make? Oh, that's a good job. You got some benefits too? For real? Okay. Well, that's nice. Oh, yes, I like you. I love that independent spirit. Okay. Um, uh, let me ask you a question. You know, I just got laid off yesterday, but I've been looking for a job ever since then. Is that a problem? No, you can hold me down. Oh. See, you're a real one. That's that's why I love women like you. You whip the the black woman is God. Okay, yes. You see, I praise you. I work. You know what? I love when I love women. Now the man is becoming a pygmy man. Now all of us. Now the woman is like, girl, I got me a man. He worships me. Okay. 
I can act too all day, every day. So if that's the situation you're in, you're being, you're being God. You don't want to do that. You want to be able to be a woman and let him be a man. <laughs> when I see some jobs, I'm like, Jesus, thank God I'm a woman. Thank you. Universe. Yeah. You know, when I was, um, when I was younger and I did have to work, I hated the feeling like when it got real busy or when it, there was no work to do and the time was passing slow and it was just the sounds and all the repetition and, and dang, I just want to go home. And, you know, then when the paycheck gets there, it's like barely anything. I hated that. That was the, that right there was the, the definition of hell to me. If I had to pick a hell, that would be it. <laughs> Um, you're, uh, you're 36 and found your first potential who's 66 date went great, but this fool said he pays 200. Okay. Well, you know, he's 66. He might be retired child. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, to me, that's an escort's price. And you're, you know. <laughs> one guy told me that pretty women were one tr were more trouble than they were worth. That's why he liked being with me. <laughs> right. Pretty patience. You are right. You used to have panic attacks at work. I'm supposed to be at the house on the mall. It's, yeah. I would quit work just because because I was bored. Like sometimes I like when I was a teenager, I'd be like, it's my birthday. I quit. Or what? I'm not coming in that day. Uh-uh. I got something else to do. You know, I was never the type of person that just took work seriously unless it was my career. Like when I was a mortician, yeah, I went to work, but I didn't want to stay there for forever. I wanted, to, you know, I couldn't work for certain people and I was just, you know, basically done. But still. I couldn't imagine going back to actually work for someone else. I could not imagine it. And if I did, it would be for myself and I wouldn't be helping anybody pay any type of bills with that money. But I still never would. Um, I will make my own way. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a dysfunctional family. Nine to five waitress me quick mm -hmm. thank you Deanna Joel positive energy and vibe um my baby daddy got him a good one she's paying for the trip to Vegas <laughs> oh my goodness um what to do if your mom is a pick me and you're trying to have her views off men affect you? You're trying not to have her, yet still remain respectful. Just like, oh, okay, that's that's not nice. I'm gonna try a different approach and see what happens. You know, um, what's a pick me? It's a woman that is very desperate for male validation and will take anything and they have low standards they will help build a man up and you know not have anything left for themselves after he <laughs> leaves her <laughs> once you stop seeking validation you've been more empowered and in control good we should be women should not be seeking validation from men period if you're seeking validation from a man you don't love yourself okay so if you're still out there being a pick me up in them comments on Facebook and YouTube and trying to, you know, get men to agree with you and, and feel validated even in that way, because you're not able to have sex with them right then and there. Um, if you're trying to be validated in all those type of ways that you can't get validated physically by a man, that means you don't know your worth unless a man is giving you your worth. And that is the pick me definition. You don't know your worth until a man tells you your worth. Okay. 
What's my worth? Pick me. Tell me how much I'm worth. Okay, wait, I'm going to say everything you like. I'm going to be a 50-50 pick me chick. I'm going to say everything you like. Now, how much am I worth? A few words in a comment by Dusty. Ooh, that's very valuable. Okay. Let me tell y'all how much I'm worth because I don't need a man to tell me how much I'm worth. I tell myself. I'm worth all these bills paid, nice house, nice car. I don't got to work. Nice clothes, nice shoes, nice hair, nice makeup, Sephora, Ulta. If I need to go to CVS, I'm going to CVS. I'm worth jewelry. I'm worth vacation. I'm worth all of that. And if you don't think so, keep it moving. Right? That's what a real woman who values herself and loves herself tells anybody that's trying to go half or 50-50. Okay? I love myself. I wish more people did. I wish, I wish more women did. But y'all sitting out here trying to get validated in some comments to, to see how much you're worth. Right? Remember that song? Give it to me, I'm worth it. <laughs> but the pick me women are saying the exact opposite. I'm going to give you things because you're worth it. Okay, she forgot about herself. She forgot she even existed. She only lives to, you know, to build. Validation is for parking, exactly. Mm -hmm. She will pick me our teeth, an important <laughs> investment. I want to have good teeth. I think it's an important. Yes, it is a good investment. Yes, you need nice at least decent teeth, okay? Not everybody's going to have perfect teeth. I have a gap, but I like my gap. And that's why I leave it open. But if your teeth are throwing gang signs, perhaps you should fix them. Okay? Invest in yourself and others will invest in you as well. Mm-hmm. What? Teeth versus a car and investment. You gotta choose. Okay. Um, if I don't have a car at all, if I'm on the bus, I'm choosing the car, baby. Mm-hmm. I'm choosing the car first. I can get me a snap on smile from wish.com until I can save up again to fix my teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hello from DC. Hi, LG. So, he, we, my boyfriend just asked me, could I at least pay the cell phone bill? Um, how much is the cell phone bill? You know, it's better than can you pay half the bills? This is what I would say. Well, I. I don't have enough money to pay this month, but I'll figure out how to get it. Don't worry. That means you got to go out and hustle. You got to go outside your home and find another person, could be another man, to pay your phone bill because your man can't do it. It's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. That means, no, I can't pay it. But since you can't, I guess I, I got to figure it out because you ain't man enough. I got to go out and get another man to pay my phone bill so I can talk to you. Maybe I should just talk to him instead. <laughs> exactly. If that's exactly what I'm going to do. You know, if you sitting up here trying to get all of this and be up on this, whatever, and you can't pay a phone bill. Well, <laughs> somebody else will. Mm -hmm. I told him, don't worry, boo. If I, if I don't pay it, it will get paid. Good for you. But since he asked you to pay it, just told you to get another man. Right? You should just like block his number for like a week. You know, pay it, but then block his number. It's like, oh, girl, I didn't have no phone. 
You didn't pay my bill. <laughs> so all the Pygmishas, all the Bob, Bob the Builders and all of them people, y'all look foolish. All you got to do is love yourself and you won't be in that position anymore. I promise you. If all you started doing was loving yourself, you would not be in the position. You would not be asked to build anything. You would not be asked to pay any type of bills. You wouldn't even be asked, you know, to help a grown man. You wouldn't be asked. A grown man wouldn't fix his mouth to ask you to help him with a single thing. Okay. Can you imagine if... Um, a woman, let's say a woman that looks just like Halle Berry or Beyonce or Rihanna, who was not famous, but was their twin, basically. Do you think that man is going to go ask a chick that looks just like Rihanna to pay any type of bill? No. Do you think that he's going to ask that chick that looks like Beyonce to pay any type of bill? Nope. But he's going to turn around and ask you <laughs> and really be serious about it and about to leave you if you don't. So why is it that he can pay Beyonce lookalike bill, but can't pay your bill? Why is it that he would go out and get a second job to keep Beyonce, but not you? Why is it that he won't apply for a position that pays more money for Rihanna and Beyonce, but not you? Mm -hmm. Why is it that he won't cut some of the premium cable uh, channels out and downsize the bill so he can actually pay them all and downsize whatever he got so that he can pay for you? You're not good enough for him. He sees you only as a roommate with benefits, okay? Because as soon as, as soon as, uh, oh my God, this lady walked in today, she looked just like Rihanna and she was flirting with me and she, uh, you know, she, she forgot her money. So I took care of her bill, but she won't pay one of your bills. <laughs> okay, nope. He will be working three jobs, right? Just the keeper. So that's what I'm saying. If he's asking you to work, he doesn't think highly of you. And I'm not saying this if you are in a relationship already and that is what you both agreed to. I'm not saying to leave that person because you already agreed to it. I'm saying don't get into one ever. If you love yourself, don't get into one. Hold out. Until you can find someone that at least is going to make sure you're in a good, beneficial relationship. Hallie and Jennifer Lopez all pick me. Well, Jennifer Lopez is dating A-Rod now, who has more money than her. So she learned her lesson. <laughs> okay. Mickey says guys with potential are no bueno. Nope. I don't do potential. Like, what, what am I going to do with some potential that's not even my own potential? Mm-hmm. Um, she was say, shades is 11 shades lighter. She was face is 11 shades lighter than her body. Oh, really? Let me see. Okay. Maybe because it's the shadow. You know what shadowing is? <laughs> ah! See, broke man always got to target women's looks because that's what's most important to them. I'm telling you guys, when a, when a man puts you down, he's going to go for the thing that's most important. He's always going to go for your looks because he's mad. She dies. Does this apply to business opportunities with me? I don't go into business with men. Um, 
If I'm going to be in business, I'm going to be in business by myself. Okay. I don't need anybody to go into business with unless they're an investor. That's it. Mm -mm. You either investing or I don't need you. Bye. My ex-boyfriend stepdad said his stepson liked me because he sees potential. Hmm? Okay. Shira is stunning. Well, the potential of a man and a woman are two totally different things. Okay. What is the potential of you? Oh, okay. You make a good mother and good wife. Okay, great. What is his potential? Can he make a good provider? It's different. Um, broke man on her talking instead should be working. Mm -hmm. They put you down and expect you to stay with them. Exactly. Shoot. You put me down once. You ain't going to wake up. Okay. You going to have some salmonella poisoning. You're going to be in the bathroom all day. The night before. Um, savage. Okay. What can a female do to get prepared to go out and lock down a man she's supposed to be with mentally? How is she supposed to be mentally? Uh, first of all, you're not supposed to lock a man down. Okay, they're supposed to choose you. You don't go out and lock in man down. They're supposed to come lock you down. So that's number one. Stop looking. Stop trying to chase a man and let a man come to you. That means you got to look good enough for that man to cross the room, break his neck, trying to come get you. That means you got to level up all the way and let him chase. Usually it should be an older man. Mm-hmm. You're going into business, Dusty, driving a garbage truck to pick up bombs. Oh, my gosh. That's a good business because there's a lot of them. So I'm going to have to go in a few minutes. But I think your makeup is on point. Don't let them get to I don't let bombs get to me, child. Shh. My trolls, they're only allowed on here for the entertainment purpose and teaching purposes. Nothing that they say bothers me, like, really. Like, if you if you wouldn't trade places with somebody, whatever that comes out their mouth shouldn't bother you. What if you don't want to get married, just want the money? Then get the money. <laughs> Why do you think men ask for drink dates? Because they don't want to spend money on you. You're not worth it. You know. Do you do a tutorial for your makeup look today? No, not today. Um, am I a businesswoman? I sure am. Um, hi, Nina, new subscriber. Thank you for subscribing. You have never had a boyfriend. I'm 17. Girl, you still young. You don't need a boyfriend before that, you know. You're good. 17, go get one now. Perfect time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. How long did it take you to move in with James? Three months. How long? Okay, I already read that. Um... This woman was actually trying to go into, into asking me my work history and timelines. <laughs> uh, wow. Where can you buy cheap clothes from that will make you look good online? I think boohoo.com is a good website for nice, for nice clothes. That aren't that expensive. 
Um, what are my thoughts on cannabis weed? Um, no, no. <laughs> unless you're unless you're a rapper or selling the weed in one of the states that are legal, and you're a millionaire. I I mean I don't really think it's something that I would participate in. <gasps> a coworker asked you out since starting leveling up, and he has a girlfriend. I accept. If he's paying, go ahead. He might be auditioning for a new girlfriend. Just don't give him nothing. Don't give him nothing. Mm hmm. <sighs> Boohoo has 50% off right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to go check them out. So, okay. And here, I'm about to go, but here's one more thing. There's a lot of ladies that think that they're leveled up already and they're really just not. And so when they get certain treatment from men, they don't understand why. Oh, I'm pretty, but they don't treat me right. Um, Your definition of what looks good might not be the same as, you know, their, the man's definition of what's valuable or worth it to him, you know? So sometimes you got to try to figure that out too. Um, a lot of pick me's are pick me's because they don't know that they need to look better. You know, uh, just a couple of changes can turn you from being a pick me into being a woman with all her bills paid. Just a few little changes, you know, and uh, some of these ladies don't even want to change the few little things that will get all of those things for them. They're too stuck, too, too fixed, too uh, masculine and standing in their pride in order to have a feminine lifestyle fully provided for or at least being invested into as a female as a woman, as, you know. So a lot of the ladies would remain masculine because of fear, because of needing the validation and not knowing their own value or worth. And they stand behind the things that they don't want to change because they feel like they're paying their way so they don't have to change because they're paying their own way. Well, I'm going to wear this because I pay half these bills. I don't care. I'll wear my, you know, my outfit, my hair, my makeup, sorry, because I am invested in him. Okay, so it's the opposite. She's invested in a man. So she didn't have to change anything. He should just accept her as she is and she's paying half these bills. I mean, you know. <laughs> Oh, you know, I don't have to change anything. My man love me just the way I am. No, he love you paying 50% of them bills just the way you are. Okay. So that's my cue to go. I got to go. Y'all hear my alarm? Um, someone saying Mickey is live. Michaela Pink. I hope she's, I hope she's on her channel. So y'all go over there. But I got to go and um, pick up my children from school. And I'll be back. <laughs> so no bob the building ladies if you already bob the building you better scoot out of there slowly make him man up mm -hmm. so thank y'all for watching and thumbs up share this video with your pick me friends <laughs>